Uh, Phil, let's talk schools. The state says they'll open in August. Uh, we might not fully understand the impact of the 4th of July in Florida until then. I know a teacher in Florida who told me she's especially concerned about going back to the classroom. Uh, what kinds of restrictions will there be when classes do resume? Uh, I would say that all the plans now might not exist here next week or next month. There's an election here on August 18th. We don't even know what that's going to look like yet, let alone when school goes back to start. But again, it goes back to the decentralized nature of the state of Florida. Uh, the state will say in person, uh, everybody needs to go back to school, but they don't really give a guideline or a set plan yet for the school districts to implement. So it is up to each school district to implement what they think is best. In Miami-Dade County, there's a series, there's a, you know, 100% back to school uh, in person if these certain criteria are met. Uh, there's all distance learning if these certain criteria happen. And then there's like, you know, two or three middle ground areas. But again, that's up to each individual school district creating more confusion uh, because the parents and your, and your neighbors really need to know what is going on in your specific situation. All right, Phil Prezen, thank you so much for being with us. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.